Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man a playthrough of Beta 1. First thing, good news, we are having a relatively easy mission. Second, uh, the even better news, I figured out we had a Haven advisor, Wolverine, with a shit ton of hit points and good equipment. So beware, because this is going to become a slugfest. Only need to kill all of the enemies, should be around uh, four to six enemies. Got a laser shotgun, that's good. Got another laser shotgun. Well, what do you expect if you have an assault training uh, the troops? They will start picking up laser shotguns. There's another laser shotgun. Are you serious? Great. So far, so good. Well, I certainly never had that that many shotguns to begin with, and most certainly not had uh, have had that many like laser weapons in one go. And then all of a sudden, all of the weapons are laser shotguns. Probably not the worst, to be honest. Heading there now. Heading there now. Double time. Good. I like these rendezvous missions. They spawn relatively uh, seldom, but if you do have a Haven Advisor, they tend to sniff out the mm, these nasty malls. Heading out. Moving to designated coordinates. Understood. Moving out. Moving out. Understood. Moving Which out. means. The double agents that are not doing any work at all, anyways, are getting killed, and you have a chance of having a faces one free base, which I think everyone would appreciate. So let's take a look. Couple of drones. No problem for us and our shotguns. Drones want to be in close combat, we want to be in close combat, we're in pretty much in alignment here. A little bit of a shotgun bonanza. Bring it on guys, we're ready. All right, good enough. Get ready for a surprise. Good old grenade pull. That will also trigger all of the other enemies to hopefully come into our direction. And now it's time to let the shotgun speak. <laughs> I like it. On your order. Wow. The game's almost freezing up on me.
Good. We don't need to take any chances here. Oh shit, uh, that'll destroy the corpse. My bad. And it destroys the loot. Well, that wasn't clever. Anyways, run and gun. And that's shotgun to the face. Taking care of, Taking care of business. Perfect. Got, it. Got a nice little laser sight. And now we're just waiting for the faceless ones. Maybe it's just one faceless one, who knows. Moving everyone up, just a little bit. Leaving to position. Let's move already. Overwatch, scanning. Scanning. I'm on it. Covering now. Could there have been explosions? like this base had been heavily infiltrated by the faceless ones. Three of them. Are you telling me there's a fourth? What the heck is going on? Is he a civilian? Alright, okay. Good. Happy to be the front line. Good, we're moving up. It's a little bit longer distance shot here. Question is, can we use grenades? Oh, lovely. Three of them. Perfect. Couldn't ask for more. No need to ask twice. On the move. No, I'm asking myself, can we hit him? Yes. That might kill him. Who knows? It doesn't... Also doesn't take the cover away, unfortunately. Yeah, Overwatch... Uh, Overwatch will not be a thing here. Got another grenade, though. Let's kill this Advent Trooper. Smoke Grenade. We are putting it in a way so that the faces ones are not stepping in it. 
protects us with um, with a plus 20 against all of their shots. Well, and now it's a question, it's almost a DPS test, but guess who has shotguns? Ah, he moves into the smoke. Clever bastard. <laughs> Did he really just hit his friend? Oh my god, that's so bad. It's... It's already funny again. Alright, perfect. Good. We're looking at 95% shots. I don't think that a 95% shot is sufficient. Moving, to position. Moving in. I don't care about being flanked. 100% shot to the face. And that's solid 7 points of damage. Good job. Two of them are down to 5 points of damage. Moving up a little bit closer. This hopefully is going to kill it. Not sure how you can really graze grazing shot this one. But okay. Going a little bit closer. Percent, ninety percent. Oh, let's take this guy. The flank was very much working. On my way. Come on, kill him. We're in the open, it's never a desirable position to be in. <sighs> Moving over here. Free reload. And that's a kill. Hey, who would have guessed, complete surprise, that the only civilian which is standing, like, right in, in the neighborhood might be a faceless one. I know, shocker, right? No one would have seen that one coming. So she got wounded, and then she essentially panicked again because the SWAT mate, which was her to begin with, got wounded. Makes sense. 
XCOM Logic. Guys, you have laser shotguns. How is it possible to always deal minimum damage? We're standing right in their faces. Un the fucking believable. All right, let's get rid of the cover. And that's another solid kill. Target eliminated. Need a resupply. Going in for the kill. Which brings us to a good old run and gun. Rapid fire shotgun to the face. Bam. So my theory is only three of them were actual spies. The last one was kind of deployed because of the dark event. Easy out there, Commander. Good, we got a promotion, even better. Wolverine. Nice, we got untouchable, finally. Such a great ability. Advanced Perception, perfect. Elite Autoloader, that's good. I mean, the loot is crazily good. <laughs> and, and she got Fear of Poison on top of it. Aya Nessam, aka Wolverine, must have so many, like, anxieties. Where is she? Can't even toggle on to her. But yeah, I mean, she got a lot of fears, that's for sure. But she's a damn good Haven advisor because thanks to her, we finally, uh, we finally perched the filth out of uh, South Africa. And although we're down to seven again from 10 or 11, at least these are not faces ones. Good. Pretty solid mission overall. I like it. We're getting we're slowly but surely winning the battle for um, Africa. And there's our next specialist. We also got a new recruit and people are being recruited in South Africa. Uh, before we wanted, uh, before we start the training, let's see who's available. Uh, the next one was an assault. So we got a few rookies here, which of them has... I mean, we could use Mustafa here. Or we use Xenia Xen, uh, Garcia. Shit aim, but a lot of movement, which is great. And also a couple of hit points to survive whatever is happening, right? So Xenia is a pretty decent uh, choice for an assault. So here we go, assault, perfect. That'll take care of the training. Still, we can't recover any soldiers, really.
And wait a second. So as you can see, we already recruited someone here. Probably a new faceless one who just joined. Great. And we recruited someone over here. Good, let's continue. Got another lieutenant, uh, another commander ability. Rattler here can continue his training. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Giving him Jammer as well. Essentially having a commander on every single mission helps a lot. And we got a new mission at our hands. Six days, five hours. Smash and grab. That is easy enough. So let's use a rookie team to give them some experience. Okay, I couldn't fully get it to 100% and fielding a similar team, but given that uh, the difference between 80 and 18 and 21 um, and having four or five soldiers um, is really kind of marginal at, at this point. I decided to take a, uh, take instead of five, six soldiers with me. We got um, Big Daddy here. Uh, we got our assault uh, that is uh, specializing on um, the shotgun uh, shots. We got a mech just to level them up as well. We got our specialist uh, that is actually going to uh, focus more on Overwatch uh, shots and who is becoming a normal soldier in all regards. Uh, so I took another sp uh, specialist uh, to more take over the normal healing and support role. I am not yet sure how we are going to build him. Probably kind of standard. Um, I'm okay with one experiment, but we don't need to experiment too much as the specialist in my perspective in long war has a clear best uh, path unless you want to take two specialists onto a, uh, onto a mission uh, but that's my personal opinion and we got a gunner who is going to focus mostly on all of the good old uh, overwatch and suppression uh, style so the fighting style of this group will be different we don't have cover removal is what i'm just realizing short of one shredder gun but i guess that's it we will just overwatch them to death i suppose here we go to be honest the mission is not so hard so not having cover removal isn't the end of the world So we're continuing to get some more income. I really like the perspective of having more and more income. About our project unfortunately makes a lot of progress now. Luckily our sabotage will take two of uh, the progress bars off. Let's see what the Shadow Keeper does. And one thing that I realized with uh, the engineering here is you can actually build the alien weapons, the special weapons down here. So Iconic X, for instance, I was shit talking the axes um, a bit earlier, saying that they are not upgrading, but you could build multiples of them. I'm not sure if, if you can only build one or multiples, but you can definitely build them. Uh, the problem is that their price is a bit steep. OK, 
Okay, I don't, I don't know what the weapon does, so might as well try it out with one of our snipers. The original weapon gives you a flat aim penalty, which uh, aim benefit, which is definitely very, very much um, appreciated. So let's take a look. Usually we have a prototype. Yeah, we do. All right. 10% aim bonus, 15% critical chance. Uh, well, I guess it's our new weapon then. It's really good. The 15% criti critical chance is awesome, and the 10% aim bonus, like just flat out aim bonus. Hell yeah. We're going to give that to the prime team snipers though. And we can build a few of them as we go. I'll just see if if it's a unique weapon or if you can have multiples of them. And I think that was the mission. Yeah, that was uh, the mission where we wanted to boost it in order to get in order to uh, kill around 20-ish enemies and take the corpses. Got a nice little team here, I must admit. But yeah, that's going to happen in the next mission. Today's episode was a little bit short, only 27 minutes, but um, we got everything done. So I would say it was an efficient mission for once. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, leave a like and a comment down below, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.